Now I'd like to show you this darling quilt. It is a rose that's hanging to dry. This is a single rose and it says, he loves me, like he loves me, he loves me not, but this is he loves me. And it's just a classy pattern. The rose is absolutely gorgeous. And then the pattern also comes with three roses hanging to dry and it says love is spoken here. And I think you'll find this video will be really helpful. Now to do this in the rows, we copy our pattern, put it on top of two pieces of fabric that are right side together and thin polyester bonded batting. Then we're going to sew on this solid line just across the top and cut on the outside dash line. We'll get this shape, then we're going to fold it, crease it on the inside dash lines. Take your paper out and turn it right side out and you'll have this shape and you'll have the little creases that will show you how to fold it out like that. Okay, now we've taken a Xerox of the top of the of the single rows and we've put our fabric for area one right side away on the unprinted side and we've pinned it and I pin it here so I can see where the top of the rows goes on the other side. Then we placed our uh, center that was folded out and um, to the pin and then turned it over a machine basted this where the petals go into the seam and that will secure the center and also show us where that seam is. Then we've previously made our petals and we didn't stack them with batting. We just add a little batting in the fullest part of that petal and we're going to place the small petal so that the open edge is a quarter of an inch past that basting and then the large petal on top of that and we want a quarter inch uh, distance here to the tip of the V so that when we put the seam here and the seam here it will these petals will be right on the seam that's where that quarter inch is that's that seam then I'll place cut a piece of background fabric place it right side down like this so the bulk of the fabric is opposite this area I'm trying to cover. Turn it over and sew that whole line and then it will fold back. Then these petals will fold back and out of the way so that I can place the second set of petals so that they'll be in, and the, here I can set that petal right on that seam like that. And then I'll take another piece of fabric right side down like this, turn it over, sew that whole line, trim the extra out of the seam, and there I've got it. And then these will tip, come back and tack. Here we finish foundation piecing the background pieces and cut it out on the outside dashed line and we'll uh, tack these back. Then we're going to do our stem. We've cut our our piece out and we've added a quarter of an inch on the outside. Then we've cut several of these strips, the dimensions are in the pattern, and fold them together, wrong sides together. And we've marked the markings on here, he loves me, down here, and the stems. And we're going to place the raw edges along these markings and then we're going to sew so that this will fold back over the seams and then we'll blind stitch on that fold line and so we'll do these side seams and then do the the seam that comes across or the stem that comes across those little side seams and then the long one that goes down uh, for the main stem and each time like on these I wanted them a little smaller so I made a little deeper seam allowance and then this large stem will have a not a very deep seam allowance so that it will be just a little bit wider. Then we've pre-made all of our leaves by stacking, Xeroxing a piece of the pattern and putting it on top of two pieces of fabric right side together and thin polyester bottom batting. Then we set our stitch length a little shorter and sew on the solid line. Now I can back stitch a little bit here and then um, take your trim it on the outside dash line and take your paper out. Then I didn't cut all the way through here. I just cut down the middle uh, and turned it right side out through that hole and then I'm going to whip stitch that shut and then I'll place some 
on top of my stem and top stitch on the top. And then I'm going to outline stitch here. He loves me and we give you other options for the words here. And then I'll just outline stitch that and put a big bow, uh, raffia and a really pretty bow there like the flower is hanging to dry. Now it's finished. We've added our border and I love to put a lot of stippling. That just makes the dimension pop and really stabilizes all of this. And it just turns out darling. The rose is stylized and kind of realistic, but just really pretty. And I think you'll enjoy this pattern.